Hello friends and welcome to my channel Organetic. We finally moved into a new house and the first thing I did was organize the kitchen. I am really enjoying the process and it's almost ready. In today's video I will show you my favorite kitchen gadgets that make my life easier. I leave all the links I found to the items in this video in the description box below. If you like videos about home organization please subscribe to my channel and let's get started. The first new item in my kitchen is a spray bottle for oil and vinegar. It's made of glass and metal and comes with a cap that protects the sprayer from dust and dirt. I wanted a bottle like this for a long time to store sunflower oil. Instead of pouring a lot of oil into the frying pan, I can just spray as much as I need to cover the surface. To remember what's inside the bottle, I labeled it with a chalk marker. Eventually, I'll put a chalkboard sticker in it, but I am still in the process of unpacking, so I haven't found where I put the stickers yet. I have a hop on the kitchen island, so in my case, this is the most convenient place to keep the frying oil. Next, I have this helpful gadget, which is a multifunctional opener. It fits most standard sizes, which significantly saves space in the kitchen. For example, if you struggle to open a jar, you can release pressure with this side of the opener. Now the lid opens with ease. The opener includes a classic church key, a can opener and my favorite part, which is a twist of wrench. It helps you effortlessly twist the caps of the bottles and bags. I finally purchased a glass dish with a lid. It's made by a famous French company Pyrex. I've mentioned the benefits of these dishes with lids before on my channel, but I'll quickly go over it again for the new subscribers. It's a very versatile dish. You can use it to cook in the oven, then serve it on the table, and then store the leftovers in the fridge or even the freezer. After taking the dish out of the fridge, microwave the food right in it. This purchase for the kitchen I've been anticipating the most. You've probably already guessed what it is by looking at the box. Let's unpack it and look at what's inside. It's a self-watering planter. Its colors go together with the kitchen interior because all of my appliances are black and silver. The pot comes with a water tray, a water level indicator that looks like a black ring and a bowl that has a cross-shaped hole at the bottom for the wick cord to go through. The wick cord then goes through the pot with the plant itself and feeds water to it. I don't have just one, but three of these planters. I put artificial plants in them for now to see how it's going to look. They will stand on this long and narrow windowsill. By the way, I'm going to need your help here. What plants do you think I should buy for these pots? Please let me know your opinion in the comments below. Next up is this stylish serving bread basket. It's so beautiful that it was love at first sight. The set includes a stainless steel basket and a 100% cotton fabric lining. The lining protects the basket and the table from crumbs. You can safely wash it in a washing machine. The basket can fit quite a bit and it looks amazing. I am looking forward to using it for breakfast with my family. When the basket is not in use, I'll be keeping it in the bread drawer. I love making salads and this next item I bought specifically for that. This salad dressing shaker is quite unusual. It has recipe scales for measuring directly in the bottle. Thanks to the sealing lid, the bottle can be used as a shaker to mix all the ingredients. After the meal, you can store the rest of the dressing in the fridge. Now I want to show you this set. It includes a wooden cutting board and three cheese knives. We often have guests over for brunch, so I got this set to serve cheese properly. I love the way this serving looks and the cheese looks especially appetizing. Let's unpack this mixing bowl with a lid. 
The lid is clear, so it's easy to see what is stored inside the bowl. I like that it has a rubber bottom, because it's anti-slip and won't make a racket when you put it down. It also has measurements inside to estimate how much food it contains. I will be using this mixing bowl to store leftovers and occasionally I will take it on a trip. Once again, I am going to need help from the audience. My old meat tenderizer broke, so I must choose between these two to decide which one to keep. The black one fits the kitchen interior more, however its points are too small. This blue-green one is sturdier and has larger points. Which one would you recommend me to keep? Please let me know in the comments below! At last I found perfect water bottles for kids that don't leak and don't absorb the taste of detergent. The clear one is a regular bottle and the pink one is stainless steel. Both bottles have the same cup with a push button. The water comes out of the bottle when you press the button. And if you press the button again, it will block the water and prevent it from spilling. The water bottles have a nice design and my kids love using them. And most importantly, you won't have to worry that they will leak. If you watched the video about storage in my former kitchen, you have already seen my old orange colander. I now keep it in our apartment in Paris. For my new kitchen I got this brand new metal colander with legs. It's large and stable, and despite being large, it fits pots of different sizes. Just to remind you, I'll be making tons of videos about home organization in my new house very soon. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so you won't miss anything. This kitchen tool is small but mighty. It's a very stylish and handy tea strainer. The perforated head is stainless steel and the handle is plastic, so it's a spoon that strains tea. It's comfortable to hold and even to stir a tea if you want to. Tea fans will love this thing. If you liked this video, please show it to me by hitting the like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new. See you next week. Bye-bye!